In this video, we're gonna look at inserting a Foley catheter in a male. Of course, make sure you verified your order, told the patients what, what is happening, um, and you typically want to perform some sort of peri care before you start. Now, if you wanna see how to insert a Foley in a female, we have a whole separate video for that, so make sure you check it out. So the first thing that you are gonna do is assist the patient to an appropriate position. So for males, that is supine, with their legs just slightly apart so that you have room to place your supplies. Then you're gonna open the Foley kit and remove it from its plastic bag. Again, these plastic bags are really nice because you can actually take the plastic bag and fold the top of it over, make yourself a little trash bag. So when I do that, I will uh, put it next to the patient's hip close to me so that I have a place I can throw my trash without contaminating my sterile field. So open the sterile kit on the bedside table away from you and then pick up, pick it up from the bottom and place it between the patient's legs, reminding them not to move their legs or touch the kit. Again, only touch the outside one inch of any sterile package. Now you can, once you have it open, you can grab the sterile gloves from the top of the kit and you can put your sterile gloves on. So grab the full drape out of your sterile field, wrap your hands up in it and place it under their perineum without touching their skin or the sheets and you want shiny side down. Now you can grab the fenestrated drape, that is the drape with the hole in it and you can place that over the patient's perineum gently without touching the patient's skin with your hands. Again, the whole goal here is just to give yourself a nice big sterile field to work with. Now you can grab the plastic tray um, off of the top of the kit, slide the kit towards the patient's feet, and pull the tray between the kit and the perineum. Again, just giving yourself a nice wide place to work from. So now you are going to prepare the rest of the items in your kit. You need to lubricate the catheter. So one of our favorite things to do um, is actually to insert the catheter straight into the lubricant itself. So if you have a little package, then use um, open the package and place the kit straight into that. Or if you have a syringe, you can place it into your syringe and allow that to hold your catheter for you and pre-lubricate it. So the next thing you wanna do is attach the saline syringe to the balloon port, but you don't want to inflate it. Now we used to check the balloon, but evidence is showing that that is no longer recommended. So once you've attached it, just leave it attached so it's ready for you. Now you can apply iodine to the cotton swabs or open your swabs package depending on what your kit has. So to clean for a male, you wanna use your swabs or your cotton balls, and you wanna start at the meatus and work your way around. So you always wanna tell the patient, hey, you're gonna feel me touching you, you're gonna feel a cold, cold clean scrub, um, and then work your way around and down the shaft. So once you're fully clean, it's time to insert. Don't let go with your non-dominant hand, that hand is now dirty. So carefully pick up your catheter and warn the patient they're gonna feel some pressure and gently insert into the meatus. So typically we go until we see a flash of urine in the tube and honestly, in males, I usually just go all the way to the hub because that's typically appropriate. If you do have a patient with some prostate issues and you're meeting some resistance, sometimes lifting up on the penis helps. Um, the other option you have for severe prostate issues is to get a coude catheter that's a little bit firmer at the tip, makes it easier to go past the prostate. So once you see urine and you have advanced all the way in, it's time to inflate the balloon. So again, inflating the balloon should be non-painful, should not meet any resistance, should be easy to inflate. Once it's fully inflated, remove the syringe quickly or it will deflate on its own. Then you're gonna gently pull back on the catheter until you feel a slight resistance. And that just tells you that you're sitting right at the base of the bladder where you wanna be. 
Now at this point, you can secure the catheter to the patient's upper thigh. Most kits will come with a, a stat lock that you can use, or you can just use a piece of tape. And then you're going to place the drainage bag on the bed, below the bladder, but off the floor. Make sure that you make note of the color and clarity of the urine, as well as how much came out, and of course, document your insertion. So remove all your supplies and your drape from the patient and cover them back up and make them comfortable. So that's it for inserting a Foley in a male. If you do wanna see how to insert a Foley in a female, again, we have a whole video for that, so you can check that out as well. All right, we love you guys. Go out and be your best selves today. And as always, happy nursing. Thanks for watching another nursing.com lesson. Click the link below in the description to watch thousands more lessons over on nursing.com. Also, be sure to hit the subscribe and the little bell to make sure you're reminded when new lessons come out. And if you wanna just keep watching more lessons, go ahead and click this video over here to continue learning. Like we always say here at nursing.com, happy nursing.